All right, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I think I keep getting confused. I have no idea what day it is. Um, no, it's Thursday. So, just a heads up tomorrow, Friday, you will need to have gliders or socks or paper plates or something that will slide. If you are on a surface such as this one, finding something like that is a little bit trickier. So, um, uh, there's many, many things that work, but I will give you options for all the exercises tomorrow that don't include actually gliding just in case you are not able to do so. So there you have it. So for today, you're going to need to have a, a set of light weights. I'm just looking to make sure this is all accurate. A set of light weights and then medium weights for like overhead press and one heavy weight, just like we did on Tuesday. Same weight set up as we did on Tuesday. Hi, Michelle. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have three exercises that will pair with each other. The first exercise you'll do for 30 seconds, take a 30 second break. The second exercise you'll do for 40 seconds, take a 20 second break. The third one you'll do for 50 seconds, take a 10 second break, and then go back to the 30s. So we'll do 30, 40, 50, 30, 40, 50, 30, 40, 50, then you'll get a new set of three. Okie dokie. So that's how we'll do it. And then, um, yeah. That's kind of everything you need to know. So, all right, here we go. Get cracking. I do have a little music playing. Not sure if it's going to help or not, but here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and set this down on the ground because I'm going to need my timer today. Make sure that your water is handy and nearby, and we'll get cracking, okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and warm up those legs a little bit. I'm going to shake mine out because they're feeling just a little bit tight. We're going to start with just a few little hamstring curls back. So take your right leg, put it in front of you. Your left leg is where all of your weight is. You're going to reach up to the toe of the front leg and then bring down and pull up. So pull through your entire foot, toe to heel. Okay, so come up on the tip toe, roll back until you're pulling out that hamstring a little bit. Take it up, roll back. Good. I want you to roll all the way from toe to heel on this one. So you're getting the full range of motion in the toe. That takes the weight off of the hamstring and then activates the hamstring from the bottom to the top. Give me just a couple more here. Now we'll switch and we'll do the opposite leg. So now your left leg is going to come forward. You're going to roll up just like we were just doing, but this time on the opposite leg. Good job. Nice. Awesome. Let's just do a couple more of these. And one more here. Good job. Awesome work. I lost my mat. Let me do some little bitty butt kicks and we're going to pop this up into a little bit more activity here in a second, but I want to start off just by limbering up before we start to move. Okay, here we go. Take it up. All right. Basic butt kicks. Michelle, let me know if the music is too loud or too soft over there. I keep changing things. Good job. All right, make sure that you're actively engaging those feet so that they are touching your rump on the way up. These are hamstring curls too. You just warmed up your hamstrings. So now we're doing little hamstring curls, right? All right, give me four, three, two, and one. Take it back down. I want you to hold your arms right here, not full extension, okay? Slightly bent. You're going to curl your body down, touch your knees with those elbows, and then pull it back up. So this is almost like you're simulating a pullover, but in standing position. Curl that spine one vertebrae at a time as you come over. Here, good job. Warming up your glutes, warming up your abs, warming up your triceps and your lats. A teeny tiny pull with those arms, a nice big curl with your body all the way over, good. Give me two more here, one more here. You can stand all the way up, pull those knees up only for four, two, one. Now high knees. Now, why did I have you do it in that progression? Because when we did the last set, we warmed up your hamstrings and then we did hamstring curls, right? By doing butt kicks. Now, we warmed up your abs, and this exercise, high knees, is actually an abdominal workout. You are crunching your lower abs just by doing this activity here. So we warmed up your abs, and now we're engaging them. Here we go, four, three, two, 
and one. Take it nice and wide, not too wide. Just outside of your shoulders. Give me a quarter squat. Hands are above your head. Rock it side to side. Each time you do this, come back to neutral before you do the next one. Side, center, side, center, side, center. Good. Four more. Four, three, two. Put those arms straight down by your side and reach for those toes. Now, I had you do it with your hands up and by your ears at first because I wanted to show you that when you do this, your torso should be up nice and tall. Here, when you have your hands up by your side, by your head, it helps to keep your torso upright. But as soon as we drop those hands, we start to bend over. So I want you to keep your hands down, but your chest up as you reach. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Walk it in. Good job, I have something else. I just forgot what it was. Oh yeah, ace skips. okay. So, double, single, double, single. Looks like this. Double, single, double, single, double, single, double. Let's do it, join me, join me. Double, single, double, single. Woo, woo, ha, ha, that's right. Dance it out. Don't ask me to do that. Four, three, two, and one. Now one by one, touch those toes. Last exercise, then we're gonna get into it. Good job. For your first set, keep going. You're gonna need those medium sized weights. Four, three, two, and one. You're done, you're warm. We're gonna get into this. Your first three exercises. You're gonna hit a 180 jump squat. So you jump, turn 180 degrees, turn back the other way, back and forth we go. 30 seconds only, then you get a nice long break. 30 second break, it's a big one. Then, you're gonna do a side lunge with an overhead press. Then you'll come to the opposite side. Side lunge, overhead press. That will be with those weights, right? 40 seconds there, then a 20 second break, then mountain climbers for 50 seconds. All right, so grab those weights. Make sure that they are there in front of you because you're gonna need them. All right, you're at, oh, my stars. I don't know why I lost my music. The music is the bane of my existence, I tell you. All right, here we go. 30 seconds, jump squats, four, three, two, go. Take it around and around and around. I want you guys to keep going while I fix the music. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. And 10 seconds to go, 10, nine. All right, keep going, nice. Sorry, I took the break. Four, three, two, one. You get a nice long break, 30 seconds, catch your breath, grab those weights because you're gonna go into the side lunge with the overhead press. Okay, so no music. Isn't that fun? All right, here we go. Grab those weights in four, three, two, and one. Lunge to the side, you come center, overhead press. Opposite side, center, overhead press. You're gonna be here for 40 seconds. Boom, side, press, side, press. Good job. Make sure this is a nice big lunge. I do want the weight over the leg that is going out to the side. So whichever leg is going out to the side, your knee is facing forward, but your weight is heading that direction. Your opposite leg is nice and straight. You have 10 seconds to go. And then we're gonna take a break and switch over to mountain climbers. Four, three, two, set those weights down. Your mountain climbers for 50 seconds. Not yet, you get a break right now. All right. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. You're here for 50. Good job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're gonna 
I make the music play. Keep going, guys. Pull those knees all the way in. All the way in. Awesome. 20 seconds to go. Come on, make sure that those scapula are nice and pulled back so that you're not rounding out your back by trying to push your shoulders away from the mat. Round out those scapula, try to make them squeeze together. Keep your head facing forward. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Round one is done. Right into round two in four, three, two, one. 30 seconds here. See, that's a really quick break right there. That's why you have a nice big long one here. 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Woo! Awesome work. Awesome work. Keep it up. Looking so good. Nice and strong. Big, big, big squat all the way around. Four, three, two, one. Now you get to take a nice break. 30 seconds to grab your water. Grab your weights. We're gonna go into those side lunges with an overhead press. Whew, good. That'll get those legs warmed up, won't it? Great job, guys. You have 10 seconds. All right, four, three, two, one. Send it over, push it up, over. Up. I keep having to move to so stay in the frame. Over. Push. 40 seconds here, guys. Good work. Woo. Nice job. Push. Push. Excellent. Give a nice long stretch to that internal leg there. Make sure you're feeling a nice stretch in your adductors, your inner thighs. There, four, three, two, one, 20 seconds, set those weights down. You're going into mountain climbers for 50, then right back into those jump squats. This is your high cardio chunk here. No problem. Here we go. Four, three, two, let's do it. Pull those knees all the way in. If you wanna go slower, just to make sure you're getting that full abdominal crunch. Go ahead and do that. If you want more speed, do that too, but make sure that that knee is coming as far in as you can get it, even with the speed. Again, try to squeeze those scapula together in the back here, so you're feeling the pull closer together and not rounding away, okay? Don't be afraid to push into those. Keep your head facing forward, not looking at your knees. 10 more seconds. Good job. Four, three, two, quick transition. 10 seconds only, going right into those 180 jump squats. Third round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. Woo! Get that body around. Nice big squat. As you turn around, make sure you're sitting down. Nice. Whoops. Halfway. Woo, jelly legs. Make sure your pelvis is tucked under. 
nice little squeeze in the rump. Keep that torso in alignment. Remember, when you engage those glutes, then your torso is more stable. Your core is working for you to hold you in place so that your arms can do all the work here. Good. 10 seconds to go. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 second rest. Set it down. Going into mount climbers for 50. Last time through this set. Woo -wee. Here we go. Take it down. We're about to start in three, two, and one. Good. Watch that spine. Keep your back flat in as much as possible. Good job, guys. Oh, you're amazing. So proud of you. Okay, keep going. Keep going. All right, halfway done. job everybody come on don't forget to now round out your back keep those scapula pressed together belly button pulling towards the ground five four three two and one you are done with that round Woo -wee! that was fun i like that good job okay one heavy weight needed just one All right, keep that sucker near you because you have burpees. Oh yeah, burpee time. Oh yeah, 30 seconds of burpees, that's it. Nice big long break after that, 30 seconds after that. Then you're gonna go into single arm cleans. I want you to sit down, push it up to the air, set it down, switch hands, up to the air, set it down. Okay, so that's your second exercise. That's your 40 second exercise. 40 seconds of exercise, not 40 seconds. Anyway, then jumping jacks. I made your 50s, your 50 second one, pretty easy to do because you're gonna go right back into burpees. So we've got burpees, single arm cleans, jumping jacks, right back to burpees. Okie dokie. Here we go in three, two, one. Come on guys, push up optional. Here. Come on. Woo. Halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, 30 seconds to get that water. Catch your breath, grab your heavy weight. All right, for these cleans, make sure that you are squatting all the way down to grab the weight. Then you stand up, scrape your body with the weight as you pull it up above your head. Eight seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, take it down. Push it. Set it down, switch arms. Push. Try really hard not to lean back with that back, okay? <clears throat> We're trying to avoid a hyperextension of the back here and not the kind of hyperextension that means, oh my gosh, I hyperextended. No, hyperextension just means going past that neutral point. So we don't want you to go past your neutral point. Let's just come to a full upright here. 10 seconds. Good. If the weight is too heavy and you feel yourself hyperextending, you need to switch to a lighter weight. Three, two, one. 20 second rest, jumping jacks. And if you need a little more, you can add in power jacks to it. I'm not requiring that, that's just your option. I do wanna show you what we're gonna do here though, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one. Basic jacks, basic jacks. Now, I would like to see you switch it to a front and then overhead, front, overhead. That's just sort of activating that deltoid in a little bit of a different way. When you go forward, your 
really working on the anterior. When you go to the side, you're working on the lateral. So we're just working different parts of that deltoid. Good work. Woo! Woo! Nice job, guys. Again, light and easy because you have burpees immediately after this. Woo! Good job. 15 seconds to go. Jumping jacks. Such a good exercise to do. Three, two, one. Hold on tight because we've got burpees. Coming up. Here it comes. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Woo! Make sure 
to pull them in just a little bit closer. Nice big squat, guys. Go all the way down. You are sitting down, but you're not bending over, okay? Not this. That's gonna hurt your back. Sit to get the weight. Sit. Pull it up.
Good. 50 seconds. Switch your lead on this crossover. You want right to go over, left to go over. Back and forth, right and left, right and left. Good work, guys. Whew. All right, 20 seconds to go. Boom. Come on, you got it. 
Awesome. 10 seconds. We're going to the next round after this. Here we go. And three, two, one. Come on. Wait for those ankles. Stay on your toes, nice and light. Not flat footed landing here. How far out can those arms go without going past your midline? Full range of motion. Get the most out of this that you can. Good, halfway. I think it's incredibly human today. Nice. You're over halfway done. Going back into that dip 
hold. I'm going to show you the modification on that this time. Ten seconds to go. Good work. And three, and two, and one. Set it down. You only have ten seconds to go back into that dip position. I'm going to show you the alternate alternate exercise. Three, two, one. This is your alternate. Hold it halfway down behind you. Just hold it there. If you feel nothing, pull it up just the littlest bit. Arms are at 90 degrees with the floor, so that weight is pulling on your arms. Your triceps are trying to hold on to it. This is where you're going to be if it's not working for you to do it on the floor. If you have a bench or a chair, that's really where I want you. But this is your backup exercise. Here we go in three, two, one. Set it down, cross, uh, kick with a cross punch. Take a little break here. Grab your water, you have 30 full seconds. Woo, nice, it's good stuff, good stuff. All right, 10 seconds to go. Starting with the right, cross, uh, uh, side, side kick, cross punch. Knee up, heel out, knee in, foot down. That's the, that's the pattern you want to use. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kick, punch. Kick and then punch comes from your back. Remember, we talked about this before. So when you punch, it comes from the back part of you where those big giant muscles are doing the work. Bring that knee in. Push it out. Snap it down. Push it. Snap it. Punch. And switch sides. Good. Kick. Punch. Punch. I love these side kicks. When you do them right, so snappy and so strong. Good. Boom. And three, two, one. Take a break. Moving into the pogos. Three. No, 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 no. I was wrong. I saw a five and I thought that that was us, but it wasn't. Here we go. Here it comes. Okay, three, two, one, pogo. Now I'm choosing to do the bicep curl, but just because I felt like doing it, but that's definitely not necessary here. Woo! Stay light on those toes, guys. Keep those calves working for you. Boom. All right, 20 seconds to go. Awesome job. They pulled his next after this. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Five, four, three, two, done. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going to do this one again just because I felt like this was a little bit of a stronger exercise for me. Making sure that those arms come all the way straight, straight out behind you like this. Okay? If you're on a bench or a chair, your arms will be behind you. Fingers facing forward. Arms are straight out. Oh, I can do this here. This works. I didn't realize it would be that that was too tall, but we're good. We're good. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. I wish I would have known that all along. I would have done it from there. Live and learn. Okay. Good. Punch and kick. Kick and punch. Yeah, kick and punch. That's where you still have 15 seconds. Grab that water. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it. Come on, we want strength here. Thank you. 
timer goes dark, I have to relay, relight it. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. Good job, guys, 50 seconds here. So don't forget, you. there's no need for you to do those bicep curls or with weights. You can hold your arms here, you can just let them hang by your side. You can do a bicep curl without any weights at all. That's just fine. I do want to limit it to a bicep curl as opposed to a fly or something like that. Just because I want us to activate those biceps, okay? 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Done with that round. Okay. So now, let me check our time. Oh, good. We have exactly the right amount of time for one more round. All right. So we're going to try to think of how I want to do this. All right. We're going to do this. We're doing this. All right. This is your first exercise. Let me get back to my timer. You're at a flank with a tuck. But this is our normal tuck. I want us to go side to side. So you're hitting to the right, center, left, center. I'm gonna show you from the back. Here, right, left, okay? After 30 seconds, you'll be really glad that's over. So you're there for 30. And you're gonna to come to a single leg squat with a hop, so it's a knee drive. Squat hop, 20 on the right, 20 seconds on the left. Then you're doing a flutter kick, let's do it. Three, two, one, down we go. Right and left. Pull those knees in as far as you can get them. It's okay here. This is the one time you're going to hear me say it's okay to lift your rump. Because I want you to get it up in the air so those legs can come underneath you. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. See, I told you to be glad that was over. into a single leg squat with a hop, squat with a hop, 20 seconds per side. Okay, 10 more seconds. You guys ready? We're gonna do this right leg first. Here we go, three, two, one, take it back, drive it. Now I am tapping the floor behind me. This is a good place to start to get that balance. Once you feel like you have maintained that spot, the, that form or that spot of balance, try to drive it back without touching the ground. I'll do that on my other leg, but not on this leg. And switch sides. Good. Awesome. Ten more seconds.
Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Nice break, right? Happy to have it. Single leg squat with a knee drive. Great job. All right, 10 seconds. Then we're taking that right leg first, then the left. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Woo! Good job, guys. 10 seconds in. Enjoy it. Take those 
arms above your head, drive your heels into the floor and push those toes away from your torso. Arms are pulling the opposite direction, feet are pulling away from you, the top part of your body is now nice and long, stretching it all out. Good. Release your arms, set them by your side, bring both feet in so your knees are up in the air. Here you're going to curl your belly button down into the floor and then release it. So I want you to feel an active curl. So you're pushing your belly button down, engaging the lower back, and then release. Teeny tiny pelvis tuck as you do this. I know it's a very small range of motion, but when we, since we just worked that lower, that lower back, we want to give it the chance to relax. So you're engaging it, and then you're releasing it. Maybe two more. Take it in, release one more. In, and release. Just lay that left leg out, pull your right knee into your chest. Rotate it inside the hip joint. And go the opposite direction. Good. Straighten that leg out, grab it behind the knee, and then take it across your body, keeping your torso on the floor, both shoulders pinned to the ground. Open it up nice and wide, feel that stretch in your transverse abdominis, and your obliques. Bring it back to center, and lay it down. Opposite leg comes in, give it a little hug, the hug and rotate it inside the hip joint. Now the opposite direction. Oh, I hear you. Straighten it out. Pull behind the knee. Take it across your body. Lay it all the way down. Keep those shoulders pinned to the floor. And bring it back up to neutral. Both arms above your head. Roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Very nicely done. Lay that right leg straight. Left leg comes over the top. Move it across. We are almost done. Set it down. Switch sides. Take it across. Release it. Place both feet on the floor. Roll yourself up. But first, one vertebrae at a time. Take both hands. Push them to the floor. Head down. Release that stretch. Big deep breath, blow it out. One more time, big deep breath, blow it all the way out. Have a wonderful Thursday. Love you guys, thank you. Good to have you here.